Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,416. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this trick, we got to talk about rounding up to the nearest 15 or 30 minute increment for hours work time calculations. Now, before we can even worry about making our formulas for calculating time worked, rounding to 15 or 30 minutes, we got to talk about what Excel time is. Now, when you type 8 AM into a cell, and it's always hours, colon, minutes, colon, second, and then space AM or PM, what you're really getting is the proportion of one 24-hour day. Now, let's just come down here and type, and I'm going to type 8 colon 0, 0. Notice, you don't have to type the leading 0, and I'm not going to put the seconds, but you do have to put a space and then either AM or PM. By the way, if you leave that off, it'll show as military time, and I'm going to space AM. Control Enter. Now, what we think is that we have an 8 in the cell, and if we look up to the formula bar, we can even see the 8 up here. But that is deceiving. That's called number formatting. If we come up here to the number group, we could see it says custom, but we have a sort of time number formatting. Now, if I wipe away that number formatting, we're going to be surprised what's underneath in the cell, underneath the number formatting. And the way we wipe away number formatting is by using the general number formatting. So when I click that, there it is. Underneath is 0.333. What happened was we typed in 8 AM. Excel did 8 hours divided by 24. And there it is, the proportion of one 24-hour day. So when you type in time into Excel, if you don't know that that number is under there, then it's almost impossible to do formulas. Now I'm going to Control Z, which is undo, to get back that number formatting. Now before we worry about rounding, let's just see how to make a straight time difference calculation. I'm going to click in the cell equal sign to start the formula, left arrow to put in the cell reference for the end time, minus left arrow, left arrow to get the start time. Time calculations are always give me the later time minus the earlier time. Now when I Control Enter, it actually took the formatting from there and applied it. Now sometimes that's OK, but a lot of times with time, you don't want to see the AM, PM. So I'm going to come up to my drop down, But notice there's only one option for time. So to get all the options, you click the dialog launcher for number formatting, or you simply use the keyboard Control-1. Now this is format cells. There's lots of tabs, but the one we want is number. So I come down, and if I click on time, there's all sorts of options. I can show military time, just hours and minutes, hours, minutes, and seconds without the AM, PM. That's military and a bunch of other options, including show hours more than 24 hours. I'm going to select this military time and click OK. There's what I want, one hour, 18 minutes. Now, in the lower right-hand corner, you see that little green box? I'm going to take not my selection cursor right there, but I'm going to move my selection cursor. And when it's right over top of that, fill handle, I see the cross hair, or I like to call it an angry rabbit. You can double click, and that copies the formula down. Now I'm going to go to the last cell and hit F2 to verify that it's end minus begin. Now if we're going to round this up to the nearest 15 minutes manually, we'd look at this number and we round it up to an hour and 30 minutes. Right down here. This would be 1 hour 45 minutes. If I was rounding this up by 30 minutes, well, that would be still 1 and a half. But down here, this one would be rounded up to 2 hours. Now, how do we round? Well, if we try to use the round function, that does normal rounding, where we give it a specific digit, and it would try and round to that digit. If we tried round up, well, that would work, but it might be a little bit more complicated because round up 
still requires us to round to a particular digit. We might also try M round, which allows us to put in our 15 minutes so it will always round, but not up, always to the nearest, either below or above 15 minutes. So the function we want to use if we're rounding up to a particular increment is the ceiling function. Now, ceiling math treats numbers below 0 and above 0 differently. We're going to use just the straight ceiling, which always rounds up and treats negative and positive the same. For us, we're always having positive number. Hey, I'm going to do my calculation. N minus begin, comma. And now, uh-oh, the significance. How do I type in 15 minutes if the result of that calculation right there is a decimal? Now watch this. I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to click right before the equal sign and type a space to temporarily suspend that formula. And I want to come down here. And we have different units. So I can't type 15 divided by 24 because we have minutes and hours. But if I don't know how many minutes are in a day, no problem. I could take the 24 and do times 60. Now, wait a second. I need to force this multiplication before the division. So that right there, if I hit Enter, that's the actual decimal. Now, I don't really want to put that decimal, type it out into the formula. Now, I could do it that way. And sometimes, if I don't know the particular calculation, that's fine. But watch this. Here's a super cool trick. Since this number is never going to change, meaning the number of minutes in a 24-hour period, I can highlight just that portion of the formula and evaluate it using the F9 key. And there it is, 1,440 minutes. Enter. Now, I, that's the number that Excel formula will use for rounding, but that's going to make it easy for us to type the number into our formula. If we were doing 30 minutes, equals 30 divided by 1440 and Enter. Now let's come back up here. I'm going to unsuspend this. I click right before the equal sign backspace. I can see my color-coded range finder is working, so I know my formula is working fine. All right, 15 divided by 1, 4, 4, 0, and that will do it. This will round up the calculation always to the nearest 15 minutes. Close parentheses. Now we're going to have a problem here. Control-Enter, that is a decimal. Now if I applied time number formatting, Boom, there it is, one and a half hours. I'm going to use Control-Z. I actually want this in units of hours. Well, if we have a decimal where in the first place Excel divided hours by 24, if we want to get this decimal back up to hours, F2, we multiply by 24. And there we go, Control-Enter. Whoops, it has time number formatting. Luckily, we already learned the trick for wiping away all number formatting. This is the eraser for number formatting, general. And boom, there it is. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2, to verify. It is working. And we can see our calculations are correct. Now I'm going to click in the top cell, F2, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy this in edit mode, Control-C. Now I come over here, F2 to put the cell in edit mode, control V. And now I'm going to change 15 to 30, control Enter. Go up and get general. Or if you do a lot of time calculations, you got to know the keyboard for general number formatting. It is control shift tilde or grave accent. Now, the tilde grave accent key is to the left of the number one key on the standard number pad. So I'm going to Control Shift tilde grave accent. Double click and send it down. And we can see for this 139, this is rounding to the 15 minutes. This is rounding to the 30 minutes. Now there's another way we could do this. Watch this. F2, Control V. And for just, and here's a cool trick. If you click inside any function, if you click on the screen, this is called the screen tip. This is the argument. If you click on the argument, it'll highlight everything in that argument. 
Now, watch this. Instead of putting the actual decimal, if I put the time value in double quotes, double quotes, 00, zero colon 15, and double quotes, it'll totally work. Watch this. I'm going to click that. So it's the actual time, no hours, 15 minutes in double quotes. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde to apply general. Double click and send it down. That is pretty cool. F2, Control V, and I'm going to click inside of ceiling. Significance, double quotes, 00, zero colon 30, double quotes. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde, double click and send it down. I forgot to F2, Escape. F2, I'm verifying that the cell references are working correctly. All right, so there you go. There's a couple ways to round up to the nearest 15 or 30. Here we use 30 divided by number of minutes in one day. Or F2, here we did it for 15 minutes, and we use time in double quotes. All right, we'll see you next video.